Hi everyone, Kevin here from Golf Guy Reviews and in this video today we're going to take a first look at the brand new FootJoy Stratus Golf Shoes. Now these are a spikeless golf shoe from FootJoy that currently retail in the UK for around £160. Now this is going to be a first look so we're going to run through some of the details of the shoe and I'm going to let you know my first impressions. This isn't going to be a full review because I haven't actually managed to wear them out on the golf course yet but as soon as I do I will give you my full review and I'll include my link down below in the description to that. But for now, let's take a closer look at these shoes. Now, as you can clearly see, these are quite a casual looking shoe. Uh, definitely styled, not necessarily like a pair of trainers, not really like a pair of shoes, uh, but they're definitely shoes that are designed to be worn on and off the course. Now, personally, I've got to be totally honest, I would rather wear a pair of trainers off the course because that's generally what I live in. You know, I'm always wearing trainers, but I don't think they've really been designed with me in mind. But Definitely, I think there is a big market for this type of shoe that can be worn on and off the course, because actually there is a lot of high quality elements to this shoe. This isn't you know, cheaply put together, there are a lot of style elements, they're using really high quality leather, and you know, I think it looks nice. Personally, I like the style and design choices of it. It's just personally, maybe not necessarily a shoe that I would wear off course. But let's take a bit of a closer look. So you can see up close that FootJoy have included quite a lot of specific detailing on the shoe. This is a full leather upper here and it's using uh, the Pitars leather that FootJoy uses for their Pro SL range and for other shoes that they've got as well. So it is a nice soft quality leather. And you can see in terms of design, you've got like this stitching pattern across the side of the foot there. You've got this little metallic FootJoy logo there too that you can just kind of make out there. And then you can see you've got slightly different textured elements as well. So going around the laces here, you've got this kind of uh, speckled pattern there. Um, and actually you've got that same kind of alternative leather there around the heel and ankle area as well. But you can also see close up, you've got this external uh, hill counter there, this TPU hill counter. So this is specifically designed for golf. You know, this isn't just necessarily a comfort shoe. This shoe has been designed with a lot of performance in mind as well. Kind of unique as well, I think, is this tongue area. So you can see here that FootJoy are using a totally different material on the tongue. Um, it's not necessarily leather, it's just this kind of you know, fabric material, but it looks quite cool. And then you've got these kind of leather tan elements on the tongue there and a little bit down at the bottom of the shoe as well. So it is quite a unique looking shoe with the style choices and designs that they've used with it. You can see as well that you've got these kind of textured laces. So kind of, I don't know whether that's specifically designed to help make sure they stay up tight up, but it's definitely a nice touch and I think they look good on the shoe. Now, in terms of comfort of the shoe, I've worn these kind of around the house and I've worn them kind of when I took my son for a walk. And I've got to say that they are incredibly comfortable right out of the box, which is a real kind of key feature of these shoes. FootJoy are using their new Strata foam. So you can see here that you've got a lot of this foam material, especially around the heel area. And it's quite thick at the front as well. And it is nice and soft. And I've got to say, just generally overall, it's just a really nice, comfortable shoe. The leather is nice and soft on the top and there's plenty of room in this shoe as well. So this isn't designed to give you a real close lockdown fit. This shoe is definitely designed to have a bit more of a wider base to it and be nice and comfortable. So if you like that wider feeling shoe that gives you a little bit more room in the toe box area, this could definitely be one for you. I haven't had a chance as I say to really test this shoe out and wear it out on the golf course, but in terms of the softness underfoot, I wouldn't quite say that it's up to the levels of, you know, the Adidas Boost foam or a Nike React foam, but for this type of shoe, this is very, very comfortable indeed. Another element that they're focused on with the comfort of the shoe is actually the traction. And this is their new Versa Plus traction system. So they use the Versa traction system on their, uh, what was it called? The FootJoy Flex range. And personally, I didn't really think that gave that great a grip, to be honest. Um, you know, it wasn't too aggressive. It was a little bit soft. I wasn't that impressed with it. With this one, FootJoy have kind of stepped it up to the next level, and this is their second iteration. So what you've got here is actually multiple compounds on the shoe. So on the kind of uh, red areas, I think it is. No, sorry, on the gray areas, you've got the softer, more flexible grip. So that will feel more comfortable when you're off the course. But then you've also got these red elements and these are using a firmer compound, which means that this will give you better grip when you are on the course. And FootJoy have actually designed this, if I bring this nice and close in there, I think they're calling it their anti-channeling system. So what it means is, is that they're hoping that you can kind of get some good grip on this and they won't clump up too much with the turf underneath on the shoe. Um, and you just can kind of get these good kind of 
twisting grip effects when you're out on the course. And you can see if I just kind of hold it further away there, you've kind of got this kind of like spiraling pattern on the shoe. Again, I haven't had a chance to wear these. You can see these are so lovely and brand new, uh, but I will definitely test that out when I'm on the course to let you know actually how well these perform out on the course. So I think this is a really interesting shoe from Footjoy. They're going for an on-course, off-course shoe, but not necessarily one that looks like a trainer, one that looks maybe a little bit more I'm gonna say stylish perhaps, or just a bit more formal perhaps. Um, but again, I think personally, they're probably aiming for a slightly older market, which is absolutely fine because that's a massive market in itself. Not everyone wants to wear golf shoes that look like a pair of trainers. Footjoy have launched uh, four different colorways, I believe in this. So you've got lighter and darker options. And as I say, they currently retail in the UK for 160 pounds. So if you are thinking about picking up a pair, I've included my affiliate links down in the description below. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the looks of the brand new Footjoy Stratus? Are you digging them? Is this something you'd like to check out? Or would, do you actually prefer golf shoes that are like golf shoes or golf shoes that are like trainers? Let me know down in the comments. Really hope you enjoy this video. I look forward to checking these out and giving them a good thorough test on the shoe. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button. And if you are thinking about buying a pair of Footjoy shoes, why don't you check out my full comparison of the Footjoy Pro SL versus the more expensive Footjoy Pro SL Carbon.